Several school safety bills are gaining traction in the, in the Texas legislature. One in particular is House Bill 3, a bill that could be a game changer in school safety. Markeisha Jackson spoke with political and educational leaders about the impact that it could have, and Markeisha, it already has a lot of support. Yeah, Daryl, it does. Our state rep, James Frank, supports this, and WFIC Superintendent Dr. Donnie Lee says the bill is a step in the right direction. School safety remains the topic of discussion after the many school shootings across the nation. Our state leaders say it's imperative they pass laws to try and end them. House Bill 3 is a good first step. It really works with schools around the state uh, on, the, on their school safety plans. Al almost all schools are already doing this. It tries to put some statewide resources. Uh, right now, the House version, we don't know what we'll end up with, but it's about $1.6 uh, into school safety. Saving lives, though, is priceless. And having the proper resources the to challenge. do that is an area Representative Colorado Frank says Colorado. a lot of smaller towns can improve in. The bill would put one armed officer or employee on every campus. This is executed locally. You know, this is, this is state trying to help in this regard, uh, trying to put some framework, trying to bring some technology, bring some money. But at the end of the day, every school district uh, is already on this and hopefully is also redoubling their efforts uh, individually. The WFISD is surely doubling and theirs. Right. Superintendent so Dr. Donnie Lee funding, says the district has already been discussing adding rifles for school officers. Because irregardless of this bill before it passed HB3, we were already looking at that direction. So if, if we don't get any funding, we're still moving forward with additional officers at WFISD. The WFISD currently has 10 officers, only eight are on campuses, and none of them are on elementary elementary campuses. Next school year, they'd have 24 campuses total, so they'd need 16 additional officers if HB3 passes. The way it looks in, in, in let's say, Wichita Falls, uh, you know, in a much bigger district versus the way it looks in, in some of my smaller districts, we have 14 counties, um, it, it is a lot different. Funds could also be used for fences or window upgrades at schools, anything to slow down a threat. The issue is with safety, is it's the response time when an issue takes place. So we had an issue at Scotland Park and it took three minutes to get there because we didn't have an officer at Scotland Park. Something the Senate can change. Ensuring that our students and staff are safe and the best, most reliable way to do that is with an armed police officer. As districts wait to see if it passes. Now, it is likely the bill wins approval in the Senate. Okay, Markeisha, thank you very much for that story for us tonight.